I don't, I'm not impressed. Oh. I'm not impressed, but he looks good. He looks strong. But I never impressed, even before. So I never impressed about him. I know what he do. And I know he's a strong fighter. Uh, I know what kind of fighter he is. But I'm not impressed because I know. I'm going Terrence Crawford by knockout, either 9 or 10. 10 round. Ah, you know what? I think I said 11 rounds on my buddy. I said 11 round. I'm going Terrence Crawford knockout. I just think that uh, he just has more. He has more more to him, man. You know, switch out ball, right hand, can punch, uh, supreme accuracy and timing. I'm going to go with Terrence Crawford, man, like I'm always going with him. The latest narrative. Terrence Crawford is not the same fighter. Translation, he is past his prime. They say he doesn't move like he used to. He gets hit with too many punches. He's losing speed. And his unorthodox style, switching from southpaw to right hand, is not effective anymore. You would think this would be a narrative that Crawford, diehard Crawford fans would start, but that is not the case. These are PBC channels, spent supporters, narrative-based channels. And I don't waste my time arguing with fanboys like this because there's no reasoning with them. They don't realize what they're doing. They're taking credibility from Errol Spence if they should fight and if he should win, they're taking credibility from him. They're making excuses for Terrence Crawford and they don't even know it. Now, if you listen to a lot of boxing on the YTBC, you know what channels I'm talking about. I'm not gonna mention their names. Now, my opinion is, there's nothing wrong with Terrence Crawford. He's still in his prime, even though I'm picking him to stop Errol Spence. If Errol Spence wins, he wins fair and square and gets all the credit. None of this, Terrence Crawford's not the same fighter. He lost speed. He gets hit too much. Terrence Crawford is just fine. You know my saying. Once you get in the ring, there's no excuses. Now, with that being said, I'm talking about if the fight happens this year. Now, if they keep stalling, then we have to revisit this conversation. Canelo Alvarez says he's not impressed with Golovkin's victory over Murata. He doesn't really care about this fight. He said he's fighting for the people. Meaning he has no interest in this fight. He's making this fight because people want to see it. He's fighting for the people. After the Golovkin second fight, Canelo lost interest in this fight. He tried to make the fight in 2020 to get it out the way, but Golovkin's people were not interested in it. So it didn't happen. It also seems like Canelo's not very concerned about losing to Golovkin. The fight he is focusing on is against Bevel. Even diehard Triple G fans do not expect him to win. They hoping he will win, but in reality, they do not think he's gonna win the fight. Bebo is a legacy fight. Triple G is a big money fight. And Canelo has bigger fish to fry, like becoming undisputed again at 175. Leave your thoughts or comments below. JBZ, I'm gone.